so I'm uh, heading towards the main part of downtown in Salt Lake City and if you look at the skies you would say to yourself um, it's a cloudy day what you're seeing is what we call an inversion it is uh, pollution smog and somewhat fog this is a problem we deal with every winter here in Salt Lake throughout the whole Salt Lake Valley and actually throughout the whole Wasatch Front um, this could last for a couple weeks um, in the winter if it's not a storm's not coming in there's no wind pollution just gets really thick so I thought uh, I'd be able to go up behind the Capitol and it'd be high enough to get out of this but it's not there's one more area I, I think I might try to get above this aversion So you can see I'm somewhat coming out of it, out of the aversion, but I'm still too low. So I just found this trail that goes up this uh, hill here. I'm going to see if I can get above this aversion. I mean, you can see it's blue up there. You can see how it looks below. Wow, that's a steep little climb. And you can see here, it's still a little steep. And now there's some snow up here. And you got this real little trail cutting off to the side. But you can see here, it's a blue sky above I'm just not high enough in the elevation though to get above this uh, smog fog layer we'll see I'll keep I'll go up a little more Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get high enough in elevation to really get a good downward look. Uh, a view of this uh, aversion layer. We'll see. There's the blue skies. If I stayed in the valley, I would not see these blue skies for at least another week because of the inversion and the fog. But the problem is, is that uh, fog will start to uh, disappear, but uh, the inversion, the smog and pollution will just build up and take its place.
Well, I still have a bit of climbing to do. Uh, Wow, I've come up here a ways now and I had to take my jacket off because I'm getting too hot and I'm sweating up a storm now. I'm not used to this. This has a pretty nice view. I don't know how much further I want to go up behind me because there's getting to be where it's snow. And this isn't steep. I mean, it's bugging me, but I don't have no drop-offs. I'm just high in elevation, and that's, that itself is kind of affecting me. Because I have a problem with heights. A serious problem with heights. I don't know why. But this is pretty nice. And straight across from me, out there in the distance, is Antelope Island. I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to pick it up, but I can see it pretty good. So this is the problem with Salt Lake City, Salt Lake Valley, the Wasatch Front, in the winter time. You get a fog, and you get smog, and then it just turns into a thick smog of pollution aversion. And it'll stay that way, you know, up to two weeks. And, you know, a storm comes in and blows it out. That's what we're waiting for. But there's not a storm coming in now for a while. And the thing is, it'll be 10 degrees cooler down in the valley. And it'll be 10 degrees warmer up here on the mountain. The thing is, is uh, if you're coming here to go skiing, you'll be fine. I mean, you'll, you'll be up on the mountains, up in the ski resorts. This might do it. But you can see, you know, okay, so see the aversion. You're coming up the mountain, it's clearing up. And then, you know, right up there, it's blue sky. 